Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the co-founder and chief strategy officer of Bragg Gaming Group, Yaniv Spielberg. How are you doing today, Yaniv? I'm great, Rich. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Excited to have you on the show and very excited to learn more about Bragg Gaming Group, symbol B-R-A-G on the NASDAQ and on the Toronto Stock Exchange. And when we get started, and you can tell me a little bit about Bragg Gaming Group, which is a B2B technology and iGaming company. Can you tell us a little bit more about the company and what it has to offer? So as you mentioned, Bragg is an iGaming company. In our core, we're a casino technology company, B2B. So we only work, on, uh, uh, we only work with operators, B2C operators. Uh, we're a vertically integrated technology and content company. We provide technology for the iGaming space, so the online casino, uh, sportbook, iLottery, and of course, we produce content, uh, casino content, table games, and so on and so forth. Fantastic. Can you also tell us more about the SaaS model Bragg uses and how it separates the company from other competitors in the gaming space? So in our core, we're a technology company and technology companies, we provide technology to our customers. Uh, the way that our model works is we provide technology on a rev share model. So it's a software as a service on a revenue share. So it's actually really good for us and for our clients because our interests are aligned. Uh, our clients are doing better. We're doing better. So therefore we want to upgrade our platform. We want to have the best content out there. And we want to provide the best technology for the operators so they can generate more revenues and then, of course, in turn, we generate more revenues. Can you give us some more information about the company's proprietary tech stack and how this has given Bragg a leg up in the game development? Yeah, so you're right. We, we have a proprietary stack, tech stack that we've developed in-house. Uh, there's no legacy code. There's no legacy technology. We built everything from scratch, which ultimately allowed us to build things the way we want it and the way that we see it. We have a lot of years of experience with the trial and error with different cut. Well, different clients, different countries. And uh, we build a platform that we pride ourselves on. And I think that is doing exceptionally well. Our customers love the products that we offer. And I think a testimonial to that is that we continue to grow our revenue and continue to grow our customers. We offer a full turnkey solution for these operators. What that means is that anyone who essentially has a license and wants to be an iGaming, online casino, sport betting, iLottery operator in the online space, would come to us and we'll offer the box, uh, the A to Z essentially of what we would need from a casino, an online casino, which includes the technology, the player account management, the managed services, and of course, content. Now we all know that content is king. You just mentioned the word and Bragg has an impressive and growing catalog of games made in-house and by its partners. Why is it important to have exclusive and premium content? I think content is king and it's not just you saying it, it's not just me saying it, it's everyone in online gaming. Really the way that we think about content is, is a marketing tool essentially. And the reason I say that it's a marketing tool, of course, there's the traditional money spent customer acquisition. You spend money, you acquire customers through the various channels, whether it's advertising or social media. Content becomes a platform or content becomes important for customer acquisition. It's a second vertical for customer acquisition. Operators that have the best content through companies like us, if we license our content to these operators, mean that they have more people that want to come and play on their websites. And it differentiates them from competitors um, in, in essentially in the markets that they operate in. So the way that we view content is on the one hand, it's something that we continue to develop and continue to grow with the market. But on the other hand, we look at it from a marketing standpoint it's exclusive and proprietary to our platform, ultimately meaning that anyone in the world that would like to get our content will have to come to us first. And that helps us put the foot in the door, introduces us as a very successful, well-groomed, and of course, changing with time B2B company to service the online gaming industry that is growing all around the world. 
yeah, I love it. I have two kids and they're 13 and 14 years old and they love gaming. And I feel like we're going into a world, especially with the global pandemic where people are at home, they're going to be gaming more and more. And I think this is a sector that is only going to get bigger. And the statistics prove that. Now, in addition to that, you guys are now, the company has developed its very own player engagement tool, which is a rare gem in the gaming industry. Can you tell us about Fuzi? And why it's so exciting. Is it Fuzi or Fuz? F U Z? Fuse. Fuse. Thank you. Can you explain why it's so exciting? So, so look, I think I talked about, I just talked about the customer acquisition model of, of the big operators. And like I said, traditionally, you can spend money on advertising, and that's a way for customer acquisition. There's a customer acquisition cost attached to it. Uh, proprietary content, exclusive content becomes another tool of acquisition. And then the last thing is differentiating you as an operator from other operators by way of engaging more customers. And the Fuse player engagement tools is exactly that. It's a new, new data-driven, AI-driven player engagement tools to allow the operators ultimately engage more customers or engage more players, I should say, and engage them for longer and engage them for duration, well, longer in terms of the session time, but also in terms of how many years and how many months they stay on the platform. Ultimately, if you think about it, like, like think about it conceptually, when you walk into a Las Vegas casino or you walk into any casino around the world, there is more and more the, 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 the attempt to get new customers. And the attempt to get new customers is essentially manifested by, you would see a lot of uh, physical machines that are being put together in, in, a, in, a, in a U shape or a circle shape. And then on top of that, you'll see all these great screens that shout, you know, promotions and jackpots and, and tournaments. We've taken that concept and digitized it to allow online gaming operators, online gambling operators to offer the same tools that are available in land-based casinos, the leaderboards, the jackpots, um, the quests that ultimately lead to more customers playing on the platform and more customers playing for longer and, of course, results in a better long time and lifetime value of customers. Sounds fantastic. Now the gaming market is set for further growth in 2022. What are some of the key catalysts coming down the pipeline for Bragg this year? Yeah, so of course it's, it's, it's licensing certification and uh, integrations. Ultimately, if you look globally, you can see that the online space is, is well, has been booming, but I think COVID pushed it even further. There is a, a paradigm shift in the sense that there's more and more countries and there's more and more states in the U.S. and provinces in Canada that are considering legalization of online gambling. The way that it works for us is that we follow the legislation, we follow the regulation. So as more and more states, as more and more countries, as more and more provinces in Canada become legal, we go through the licensing, the certifications and the integrations. So in terms of milestones for the business and things to look forward is, is, is new licenses, new certifications of our platform and the content, and new integrations to some of the biggest operators in North America and in Europe. Bragg's management team has years of experience in media and gaming, as well as a significant stake in the company. Can you tell us more about your key members? Yeah, so that, that's a great point. I think uh, Bragg is managed and operated by the key members of the businesses that we acquired along the way. Uh, we also own a very big portion of the issued and outstanding shares. So there's a big insider ownership. Uh, Matt, who's the founder of the Oryx business, is the vice chairman of our board. He's also a very significant shareholder. We also acquired two other businesses, Wild Street and Spin, and uh, the founders of these businesses with many, many years of experience, Doug Fallon from Wild Street and Kent Young from Spin are still with the business as director of Americas and director of our content. We also have a lot of people with a lot of gaming experience um, from previous companies that they work with that have either been acquired or have acquired other companies. So we have a very strong management team. We work together very well. We've taken a bunch of businesses and put it together to be a global leading B2B online uh, gaming provider. Fantastic. Now we love to be able to take our community and put them in direct contact with the company. So if investors want to learn more about Bragg Gaming Group, where should they go? Absolutely. So, of course, our website is the first point of contact, www.bragg.games. G -A -M -E -S. 
And of course, if they want to get in contact, they can email us at info at brack.games. We're always open to suggestions and we're always open to talk to, uh, to investors. Super excited to watch you guys grow and evolve. Thank you for watching today, everybody. This is Rich from Rich TV Live, your host with the co-founder and chief strategy officer of Bragg Gaming Group, Yanis Spielberg. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I believe this is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed in a growing sector, the gaming sector, that has enormous growth potential in 2022 and beyond. Thank you for joining us today, Yanif Spielberg. Thank you for having us today, Yanif. Rich, thanks for having me. And hopefully I come back soon and we talk about exciting news. Yes, we'd love to invite you back in the future. If you guys ever have any big breaking news or there's anything you want to discuss, we'd love to invite you back on the show to put you in front of our global community of investors. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. Put Bragg Gaming Group on your radar, B-R-A-G on the NASDAQ, B-R-A-G on the Toronto Stock Exchange. We believe it has incredible upside. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.